Good day boys and girls. Today I am making a video for you, you, the teenager or the kid. So uh, I'm going to start at 10 years old. So you're 10 years old, you're starting to think about your future. If you're not, I think you should. So this is what this video is about today, is, is to prepare you for the future, uh, to, be, to have financial freedom when you're older. So uh, I made some mistakes when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, I made some stupid things. And I'm 52 years old now and I learned from those mistakes. Um, overall, I think I did pretty good. I think I was pretty good with my money, but I could have been better. There's people that I know that were better than me. Um, most were probably worse, unfortunately. And this is why I'm making the video today. So you're 10 years old. You should start thinking about making money soon. Um, when you start making money at a young age, um, that will make you successful when, when you're older. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, my wife is a school teacher and uh, she taught this kid. And um, at the age of 10 years old, he was going to a camping ground with his parents. And he would wake up uh, early in the morning and he would knock on the doors on every trailer and he would ask him, can I bring the garbage out for you? I'll charge you a dollar or whatever. At 10 years old, you know, I wish I could start my life over again. That I would do something like that. that that's just incredible because so many kids today, uh, they don't want to do nothing. They're, they're 18 years old. They have, they've never done anything like that in their life. They have no ambition whatsoever. I, like, I don't really know what they're going to do when they're older. So this is a perfect example. He's knocking the door. He's bringing out the garbage early in the morning. He's making a buck here. He's making a buck there. Then that same kid started to make um, fire starters. He would buy those little um, paper cups and he would put sawdust and he would put some wax in there and, uh, and a piece of rope and uh, he would sell that. And when I heard that story, I was really encouraged and I started giving all my sawdust uh, to my wife, she would bring it to school and uh, she, I gave him a big, big bag twice and he would make a whole bunch of fire starters with that. And, um, you know, next thing you know, he's 11 years old, he's accumulating money from, from uh, the camping ground, from selling fire, fire starters. So next thing you know, he bought a jointer, a, a jointer plane, a combo. So now he's making cutting boards. So again, all my wooden scraps I give to him, I encourage him because I admire some someone like that so much because nowadays kids like that are so rare and, and it shouldn't be. And I can tell you right now, now he's making cutting boards and when he, that kid is older, he, he's probably going to be a, a businessman and he's going to be very successful, I guarantee it. He's a hard worker, uh, he's, he's motivated and this is what this video is about, is to motivate you. Now this is just a, some examples, you know, you can, uh, you don't have to start working at 10 years old, but at least at 14, you should start getting a job at 14, uh, you, you know, pass a newspaper, there's so many things you can do. You can go on the internet and Google, uh, what can I do to make an income as a teenager? And you'll get some ideas, it's right at your fingertips now, right? I'm just trying to think what else uh, you could do. You could work at McDonald's, flip burgers. Oh, I don't want to freaking flip burgers. That's a low life there. I, I'm not going to do that. Well, yeah. guess what? There's a lot of millionaires out there and they flip burgers. You got to start somewhere. And when you're young and healthy, it's, it's a lot easier uh, to work hard at first. And then when you're older, uh, you got financial freedom and uh, because let me tell you when you when you get 50 and 60 years old you don't have the energy than when you were 30 you can't work as hard so another thing alcohol stay this is this is really hard for some kids because their friends are partying and you know I wasn't perfect uh, yes I went to the bar and I had too many beers and I'd ask girls to dance I wasn't shy and I made a fool out of myself, right? Um, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, but try not to do it too often. Try not to drink too much because that costs money too. Not, not just that it's harmful for your health and you're gonna make a fool out of yourself, um, but it costs a lot of money to drink. 
as you get it as you get older as you get 17 18 19 20 years old you're gonna see your friends they, they buy a quad and uh, they buy a speedboat a twenty thousand dollar speedboat and you know they're attracting the woman because they got this nice corvette or, or a nice speedboat they borrowed money for it that's this is crazy crazy never ever borrow money for a toy maybe your first car because you need to go to work uh, when you're a little older you might have to borrow for a house and that's uh, normal but never ever borrow money to buy a quad or a snow machine um, that's a big no-no if you, you know if you work really hard and uh, you can easily afford it then yeah of course you need to treat yourself but um, don't don't go see your friend that he bought a twenty thousand dollar speedboat and you can go eighty miles an hour and you're jealous and oh I'm gonna show him and I'm gonna buy a thirty thousand dollar speedboat this is stupid this is a stupid thing to do sure you, you're gonna get instant gratification but I assure you this will not last um, you might see your friends they got all the, those toys they're happy and uh, the girls were after them because they got a nice car or whatnot and you think they're happier than you they are not it, just because someone seems happy it does not mean they're happier than you and think about it this way if you have thirty forty thousand dollars of debt by the time you're 20 or 25 years old do you think you will be happy no you will have worries yeah, yeah, you, you know, you can live paycheck to paycheck and uh, you get laid off from a job and you start panicking and next thing you know, you know, you, you have to sell your toys and you sell at half the price of what you pay for. This is why I said never ever borrow money uh, to buy a toy and if you do, make sure you don't drain your bank account. Make sure it's going to use 20% of your money right you always want to keep money in the bank account just for a rainy day this is something i learned as i was growing up uh, i was always pretty good with my money but i could have done like i said i could have done better there's people that did better than me um, but anyways I, I turned out all right in that and uh, now speaking earlier I, I was talking about instant gratification i've seen people you know they got their paycheck we go to the restaurant and he goes to talk to the waitress psh, psh. the waitress come back oh uh joe he paid for everybody oh thanks joe oh thank you so much so joe spent 200 dollars for the bill and joe gets instant gratification right <laughs> don't do that please don't do that the the gratification will not will not last your friends will take advantage of you um you know, don't throw parties and, and pay all the beer for everybody and you feel like you got more money than them and you feel proud. You will get take advantage of, of, of they will take advantage of you. And, um, and next thing you know, you're going to be 50 years old. You're not going to own anything because of the stupidities that you did in your life. So anyways, that's that's the key. You start young, you save your money. When you're a little bit older and you got more money than you need, that you, you know, you might think about investing, but be careful. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there. Uh, the stock market can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, if you do, do decide to invest in the stock market, there's a lot of uh, YouTubers out there. They're pretty smart. They, get, they give pretty good advice. But when you buy a, a stock, you need to be very careful it has to be a good company and you have to be prepared to lose money right after you buy the stock and you have to be prepared that it's not going to go up that stock for five years you have to be prepared for that you, you, you knowingly you put the money in the stock market it's for five or ten years so this is good when you're young when you're seven years old i'd say get out of the stock market but anyways i'm not a financial advisor I'm just saying uh, if you got more money, investing may be a good thing, but you, you really have to be careful. You want instant gratification? You want something that will make you happy? Go to a mall, okay? Look at an old lady or an old man walking with a cane, right? Now the door, the door is, is 20 feet from the old man you're 100 feet behind the old man what you do is you run you run you go in front of that old lady and in front of that old man 
you open the door for them. You know, you're going to shock them and it's going to feel so good. I'm still doing it today and it really does feel good. They, 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 oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're a gentleman and you will see that feels good. A speedboat will make you feel good temporary and then it's going to make you feel really bad really soon when you got debts and uh, you can't make ends meet. Anyways, I don't, I don't really know what our advice uh, I can give you, I, I can make uh, future videos about this upon request, uh, you know, just leave a, a comment in this section. Um, I mean, I, I talked a lot about uh, speedboats and quads and stuff and, you know, it, it's mostly boys that are going to do that, but I mean, that, that can go for girls too. And uh, about what I said, getting a job at 14, that goes for boys and girls, uh, go see your neighbor. Uh, uh, you know, can I cut the grass, knock on their doors? There's so many things you can do. If you want to work, you will find work. Do a good job and you will get, you will get repeat customers. This, this is so important. Do a good job. Make sure your customer is, is satisfied. Um, and then if they are, they will, they will come back. So, um, Okay, so I, I know that this can be hard sometimes when, when you watch your friends with the, you know, the fancy snow machine and the quad and they're, they're out, you know, having fun uh, and, and, you know, you're at home and you're bored. Um, but again, just think of how much money they are in debt and you don't have to be at home bored. You can get yourself a job. You can get a hobby that pays. Uh, instead of buying that that speedboat or that quad, buy a lawnmower and go cut the grass like I just said. And um, that lawnmower is going to pay for itself in no time. Um, if you like hobbies, try to get yourself a hobby that can earn you money. Um, to me, I do woodworking. This is a hobby to me and I make money on it, at it so it, it's perfect. As for me, as for me, in, in my later years, I started having hobbies. Um, I was in uh, Granite for a bit and uh, I was always trying to find hobbies that can earn me money. Um, the Granite thing, uh, I probably broke even because I sold the machines. Uh, I got bored of that really quick. It wasn't for me, but I tried it. I tried it. And uh, by the time I sold my machine, I sold them for less than what I paid for. So I probably broke even with that hobby, but there's other hobbies that I, I did make a little bit of money and now here I am again, I got another hobby, woodworking, and this is my business now. And um, I'm successful at it, right? I'm not making millions, but um, um, I live modestly. I, I don't need to make millions. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay and uh, I don't need to go uh, on vacation uh, five times a year. As you get older, that's another thing. You might see, you, you might go on Facebook. Let's say you got 500 friends on Facebook and it's winter time and they're going to Florida, they're going to Jamaica and you're, you're starting to feel like, oh, well, geez, am I missing out? You know, I, I'm not going because it costs so much money. Remember, you have 500 friends on Facebook. You got five friends that go on holidays all the time and they post pictures, okay? It's it's not normal for someone to take holidays all the time. If they can afford it, good for them. I'm not criticizing them. But if you can't afford them and you feel like you have to take five holidays per year because your friend is, <laughs> don't. And remember, your friends are not happier than you. They may seem like it, but believe me, they are not. All right, guys. So uh, I'll wrap up this video. Think about what I said. Uh, you might be 10 years old, you, you might think this crazy YouTuber guy is full of crap, whatever. <laughs> but uh, show the video to your parents, ask them, ask, you know, or someone older, ask them if I'm right. They will tell you. All right, guys, thanks for watching.